Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the career mode logical gamer with you today, Will with you today. Uh, as you can see we've got the engine upgrade now on the car that we set up last time in Australia. Um, uh, not the engine, the downforce upgrade, sorry. Um, but anyway, we're going to get into straight into this video, we're going to get straight into qualifying. Um, sorry for no game audio, as it said in the start, I, you know, I might have had this but here we go for our first quality lap, our first and only lap. Coming around the final corner now, you know, just starting to wind it up again. The DRS will come open now, and there we go, straight onto the lap. Um, the reason why we only did one, as we'll see later on in the video, um, it felt a pretty good lap, which is why we only did one, because you'll see now we're coming up. This is the end of the second section, we're two seconds ahead of Verline. I know Verline was slower than Massa, but we're still two seconds ahead, you know. Um, so it felt it connected up really well and yeah it just felt like it like the car was moving properly for once um we lose the back end of it there you'll see we lose the back end quite a lot around Bahrain it's one of my favorite circuits and this is why I think we got pole position in a Toro Rosso we got pole just let that think sink in a bit pole position in a Toro Rosso ahead of the Bahrain Grand Prix you know it was pretty decent so we're now yeah, we, we we did it by one tenth of a second over Red Bull but still we're now going to go and get straight into this race there's something in the Bahrain air tonight and I'm not just talking about the sand our brightest minds have thrust their brightest ideas into the spotlight of the Sakia circuit this evening as we look ahead once more to a Grand Prix that has thrilled us so consistently in the past. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Trying to cover the inside line off the start. So here we go guys, here, look, look at that view. This is going to be a one stop today, super soft, and then onto the soft tyres around that five. Um, I'm going to just go through and show you my car setup. It's, you know, I've got it off the Steam Workshop, so I can't take any credit for it. But here we are, sat on the start of the grid, waiting for those five red lights to come on. Five lights out, and away we go. Bit of an awful start. You know, I'm not. I'm getting better at starts, but we've bogged down still. Rosberg and Ricardo are going to come through. We're going to hold our own up the inside, but Vettel's on our outside. Trying not to tag with Ricardo, we let Vettel through. And overall, it's not been such a bad start. You know, we need to get eighth or above, and now we're sitting in Vettel's slipstream, thinking up the move on the inside into turn four, I think it is. It looks like we've got the job done, but now, anyway, we're going to move on to just near the end of lap one. Just sort of after that hairpin and just after that long straight, we're going to lose the back end off the curbing, and that's going to, we're now going to allow Vettel to go back straight back through. And also then, could we lose so much time? How would we lose it on the kerb again as well? Hamilton's going to come through. And we have to defend from Ricardo. I think we get a tap of, of yeah, Ricardo there. But anyway, you know, Ricardo, boss has let boss has to get through from Ricardo. I think he hasn't done the greatest job for Red Bull there. But, you know, we'll see how angry Christian gets at me. But now it looks like we're going to get the better exit than Hamilton here. It looks like, you yeah, know, if we get the slipstream right, which it looks like we're going to do, we're going to make a move down the inside. This is a Toro Rosso on a Mercedes, everyone. You know, this is a midfield versus the best car in the game. It looks like we break a bit late, but anyway, we still make the corner. It looks like we're going to keep the position because we're now good. nothing. Then really happened for the rest of that stint. You know, we were gaining on best. We gained on best with the Hamilton. We gained on us, so we dropped back from best. We're now going to come into the pits. Hamilton's going to come in right behind us and Vettel in front of us, so we need a really good pit stop here. Let's just hope it's not another Australia where we got jumped in the pits again. How's the pit stop from the Toro Rosso boys? Oh no, we're gonna, we've got jumped. We've got jumped by Hamilton again. For the second race running, we've been jumped in the pits. I mean, I think we really need to get, yeah, have a bit of a clear track behind us when we go into the pits. But we're now, you know, Hamilton's just in front of us. And we've got their line next to, well, beside us, we come out of the pits. We're going to keep our position just behind Hamilton. It looks like if we get a good run up this hill, you know, we're going to be able, we might be able to get Hamilton into the next braking zone. You know, we always break the latest, and here we go. Up the inside of Hamilton, there we go. Another move done. I know it's only for 12th place, but, you know, 
track position, ladies and gentlemen. And now, here we go. This is Bossass. We're going to have the Bossass with you. He's come out of the pit. And he kind of helps us here because he's, he holds Hamilton up but lets us through. Anyway, now cutting to lap 10. Uh, we, could, we weren't really gaining on Vettel, but Hamilton was gaining on us for a couple of laps. And we now see Hamilton's going to try and go around the outside. We just see his front wing there. Um, we're going to go on to this onto the back straight now, but you know Hamilton's going to have DRS, isn't he? Because he was only he was within that second window. But yeah, there he goes flying past us. We think about the move up the inside, but it doesn't really pay off. He, you know, he closes the door on us straight away. Um, but then just cutting, just gone up the hill. We get the inside line again. We keep breaking a lot later than the AI there, which is which helps us. But now we've got to the end of lap 11, and this was sort of the way that it went for the... This is the way it went for the rest of the race, really. It would be like, oh, we'll get past Hamilton at turn 4, but he'd get the DRS and get us to, you know, up into turn 1. We're going to try and stick it around the outside, but nothing, nothing comes from it. And again, just coming up the hill, you know, we're going to dive bomb him again, you know, get the move done straight away. Um, but then this is quite an interesting one. This this was a very long battle between me and Hamilton. You know, it lasted like four laps, five laps. Um, this was the most interesting bit by far. So we don't get the best exit out of turn. It must be no, it's the last corner of the lap. I'll find out what turn it is. Not overlay it, but um, Hamilton gets the run on us. You know. Think, oh well, we'll give it, we'll give a dive bomb a quick go. So we do it, and then I leave him too much room on the inside, and that means that he gets a better run there. Um, you can see the Mercedes straight line speed versus the Toro Rosso. We're gonna again, we're gonna do our, our favourite move of the day and just dive bomb him up the inside into turn four. So yeah, it's obviously our favourite move, and then this is coming on to the last lap across the start finish line we've only got one lap to go um yeah it's going to be much more of the same you know how is going to try and park the inside there we go he going to? no he doesn't come up the inside that time all around the outside he doesn't have the straight line speed left so we must put it in, up into rich and there we go you know it looks like we're going to hold him off i think he might have a dive bomb opportunity here he moves to the inside but then you know we're so much later than him on the brakes you know we still make the corner so yeah, a lot, lot to learn from that from us. But anyway, now coming on to the final corner, of the final lap. It looks like in our only our second race of Toro Rosso, we're going to come through from pole position to take third place. have it third place in our in only our second race for Toro Rosso you know so it's a pretty decent result holding off Hamilton to the end there um, I think the driver of the day should definitely go to us as we're in the Toro Rosso midfield car getting a podium beating people like Raikkonen, Bottas, Hamilton but anyway with that result it means that we're now promoted up to fourth in the drivers championship this could be our year we, you never know we could win it we're fifth in the Constructors' Championship. Science had to retire. 
Um, so we're the only point scorer for Toro Rosso at the moment. But anyway, how much quick look at the uh, the drivers' championship? You know, Science down in 17th. You know, not not really good enough for us. But anyway, um, it looks like it was an overall good weekend for us. Um, as I said, Bahrain is one of my favourite circuits. I find it's quite a flowing circuit for me. Um, you know, there you go. We had a hundred percent clean laps, which is you know, I hardly ever get that on this game. Um, and it looks like we might finish off the rivalry next. Well, in China, in probably the we'll probably do it in um, quali. You know, straight away just finish him off. Um, but you know, we're still in the purple on the driver position. Toro Rosso still like us a lot in the career school. We don't really don't really care about. Um, as we take one last look at Bahrain. We'll see how many resource points we actually have because if we have enough, I might stick an engine upgrade on the car. Uh, do we have enough? Yeah, we do. We have 55 more than we need. So yeah, we'll put, we'll go and stick an engine upgrade on the car then, you know. It'll make it hopefully a bit quicker. Um, it's 600 resource points. Yeah, but they're not they're going, I know they're going to get more expensive, but we might as well start early and start upgrading the car. We're not going to jump Williams this time, but you never know. I'll see you next time, guys, for the next career mode in China.